I welcome um, Ariwa Chiku to Off the Pitch. It's good to have you as a guest on our very first episode of the show. Thanks for your time, I'm going to say. Thank you, Brenda. Those who don't know you, who is Ariwa Chiku and your name, where you're from, what you do for a living, how long you've been doing it. Okay, thanks, Brenda. Uh, my name is uh, Ariwa Chiku Emmanuel and uh, I'm from Mimo States. Be said precisely, and I've been in this professional business for like a decade now, 10 years plus. I've been playing professional football, and currently I'm playing with a size Football club uh, Bangladesh. If we all know that it's the dream of every footballer to always be in the national team, and for you, you made an appearance, you made appearances with me at C Ads. So, how do you think this your current club will give you more exposure to the point of getting more appearances on the national team? Yeah, actually, yeah, like you said, 2017, I was cut up in Chicago. Uh, I'm only here just like a build up. The offers are good here, but uh, the league uh, can be compared to those of people playing in Europe and other parts of the Asia. All right, so away from your career to the reason why we're having this conversation, which is Masters of the Pitch. Let's start with your routine as a footballer. We know you have a lot of trainings, a lot of sessions and comes to um, um, field events. But off the pitch, what is your routine like? <laughs> if I'm not uh, playing, most, most of the times I, I, I read books. I'm a good uh, lover of reading so many books. I read books and uh, talk with my family and what movie. You mentioned family and um, I'm assuming you mean your immediate family. So tell us, are you married? Are you single? Do you have children? Well, <laughs> I'm a married guy. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a proud father of four kids. Wow! So, uh, four. Yeah, and I, I spend most of my time off pitch with them. I think the other challenges that um, footballers go through that um, the fans don't know about for most players playing uh, away from home, uh, they face a lot of challenges. I think injury is the biggest one. Other ones are races and uh, food and weather. Like here in Bangladesh, it took me months before I can, you know, get acclimatized with the kind of food. Your skill, your talent is in playing football, soccer, and all of that. But are there other hidden talents you have as a footballer? Aside football, I think uh, I'm a multi-talent guy because whatever I set my mind on, uh, I do it very well. I'm a graduate of computer science from Federal Project in Nekede. Wow! So, Impressive. Yes. So I think I, I prepared for my future very well. I can sing very well. I can equally dance. I can oh, ask. Wow. I think I like to hear you. Yeah. Speak. No, not, not today. Not today. <laughs> Okay, so let's proceed to my favorite part of the show, which is the Q&A. Simple, I'm just going to ask a few questions and you just answer. Okay, so who's your favorite career role model when it comes to your career as a footballer? Who do you look up to? Who do you aspire to be? Sergio Ramos. All right, so who's your favorite artist? Yeah, my favorite artist. Yeah, Timaya. Uh-uh, I can see the dreads. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a celebrity crush? I know you said you're married. If you do, you can answer this question. But if you don't, you can just say, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. My wife knows the brother in here, though. That's, that's amazing. Okay, so finally, what's your favorite quote in life and why? My favorite quote in life, all for one, one for all. I'm a leader, you know. Anywhere I go, I'm a leader. I have this quality of, of uh, turning shape to words, you know. Yeah. So when we stand for each other, we win. But when we stand uh, divided, we fall. Okay, to Ari Rachiku, it's been amazing talking to you. So, um, just before you go, your parting words to your fans, your followers, your family, just all around the world, Nigeria and everywhere else. Wow, um, I just want to say a big thank you to my fans, my family most especially. I just want them to keep praying for us. You know, this journey is a difficult one. It's not about your talent. It's not about how strong or how fit you are. It's just the grace of God. I'm telling you. So we need their prayers every time. We need their support. All right. Uh, thank you so much once again. And do have a great season. Um, this period. Thank you.